Oh, yeah. Got him. That might be a real good one. Oh, wow. Okay. Come here. What is going on everyone? So today I'm setting out with a pretty strict mission that I'm trying to do today. I'm trying to catch an inshore slam, which is a snook, redfish, and speckled trout on three different types of fishing. So what I'm planning to do is try and catch a snook using live bait. I got some white bait in the live well, and then I'm gonna try and use some cut bait to try and catch redfish. And then I'm gonna use artificial lures to try and catch a speckled trout. So three different types of fishing to catch three different fish. So really this is just the order that I'm picking because I think that that will be the most effective way to get through the slam. So I'm gonna start trying to get some snook up here on this mangrove island. This is actually the same exact one that I was at in the last video where I was using live bait and got all those snooks. So I know they're here and I got both pilchards and thread fins, white bait, greenback. They got all those sorts of names. Another little side thing I'm trying to do is beat my personal best slam. I think it's either 61 or 62 and honestly I'm pretty confident that with the bait and everything that we have today that we can beat that. Let's see if I can get the slam in the first place. The wind is blowing hard right now so I always want to position myself where I'm going to cast with the wind. You never want to, I mean I got to cast a little bit to the left but there's nothing I can really do with that. You always want to cast with the wind to make it a little bit easier on you. I got a 2-0 circle look right here and about a two foot section of 40 pound liter. This water is pretty murky right now so I'm pretty confident 40 pound will be fine. See so yeah, I got my 3000 Clash, Mojo Inshore 7.6 medium light power rod and I got 15 pound braid on there. Let's cast it up by the mangroves. Let them swim around. So I have a little bit of time of incoming tide so we'll raise the water up a little bit more into the mangroves. It's kind of a low high tide also we had a cold front that pushed through yesterday that's why it's so windy right now and it was like 60 degrees this morning it's pretty nice oh there's a snook under him yep there's a snook chasing him snook on him right now oh he got him got him no we dropped it come back Oh, that's so sick. Snook got him. Dropped it again. No way. Oh, the bait rehooked itself. That's why. Dang it. It didn't seem too big. Maybe like 24, 25. But that was so sick just to watch. Besides that one bite, I haven't gotten anything from the snook here, so I'm gonna go switch tactics and try and use some cut bait over by some mangroves. Get some redfish on the, the high part of the tides, about 9 or 10, 15 now. So I'm gonna start off using a dead thread fin that I saved. Go ahead and nose hook him like I would do it if he was live. And all I did to the rig was put a split shot on it. So let's see if it works. Just gonna cast in this little slot right here. Right there. Yeah, redfish are very scent oriented and they don't mind picking up a piece of dead bait on the bottom and on the higher part of the tide, they're gonna be up as far in the mangroves as they can. Usually when they eat, they're pretty aggressive with it. So they'll just take it in, take it and turn back into the mangroves. I think there's like pinfish pecking at it. I don't mind pinfish pecking at the bait because activity brings more activity. The redfish will see or feel all the pinfish over there. Come check it out. There we go. Got one. That's a good red. Just like I said. Oh yeah, that's a solid red. Come red to the boat. Can loosen the drag a little bit. Oh wow, that's a nice red. Okay. I'll take that. He just thumped it. I saw the line start going. This might be like a 25. No, that's bigger than that. Holy crap. All right. That is a solid fish. Oh, wow. Okay. I will take that. Cut thread fin coming in clutch. Let me get him over here. This is, that's a big fish. Come here, dude. 
Oh yeah, that's 26, 27 probably. Come here. Oh, that's a nice red. Come on. And he's in the net. There we go. That, oh wait, that might be like a PB. My PB is 29. That is a solid redfish. Hold on just a minute. That is awesome. Dude, that might be 30. That's a big fish. Get the hook out of you, dude. There you go. He really was kind of barely hooked. That is a solid redfish right there. My God. Let's get the measurement on him. He's 31 and a half. That is a new new pb redfish right there new pb redfish right here 31 inches that is so sick just casting up a piece of cut thread fin up in the mangroves and he he piped it all right let's get a release on this girl thank you for playing oh yeah 31 inch redfish right there that is so sick oh he was ready if I'm able to get a slam today, it is looking very likely it'll be my biggest slam ever. That is awesome. All right, I hadn't gotten anything else in about 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna go back and start focusing on snook again. I'll definitely take that as my one redfish today. Try this first spot again. Missed that one snook, so we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna go down to 30 pound leader try that too. I'm gonna toss out a net full or two of live comers just to see if we can get these fish fired up because really after this I don't need live bait. We'll just go for just go for trout. Okay. Oh my God. There we go. Got him. That's a good snook. That's a real good snook. Awesome. Come on, stay away from the mangroves. That is a nice snook. Stay away from the mangroves. That's a slot fish, I think. Get this back out. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes, it's, it's turning out to be a good day. That is a solid snook right there. I cast it over there where I saw the other one pop and I guess this was him away from the mangroves. That might be a slot fish. Don't freak out. That is a solid snook right there. I'm guessing 28. Let's get the measurement right there. He is exactly 28. That's a 28 inch snook right there. My slam is looking real good right now. I'm gonna just keep fishing for snook because it seems like they're fired up. Pipe that green back right there. Let's go get a release on them. Here you go, 28 inch snook right here. Clamping down to my thumb. Just a big old baby, that's what you are. All right, you ready? Here she goes. Awesome. So my slam is looking real good right now. I got a 31 and a half inch red and a 28 inch snook. So I got 59 and a half inches going on right now to beat my record of 61. Keeping the net out. I am tired of trying to get the net out every time I get a good fish. He frayed me up pretty good, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, he did. Let me retie. I'm just tying a little uh, uni knot to my circle hook. Again, 2-0 circle hook. There we go. Nice little uni knot. Turn the tag end. Let's go get more bait. See if we can get him fired up again. Try and spread them out so I can really cover an area and see where the fish are. Try over here first. Oh, yeah. Got him. That might be a real good one. That might be a good one. What do I have? This is a good fish, whatever it is. Is this a red? Come back to the boat. What is it? What are you? Still don't know. Is that just a snook? I think it's a snook. He's just not jumping. That might be a bigger snook. Holy crap, come here, dude. Yeah, I think that's just a bigger snook. Look at the size of this dude. He's gonna be close. He didn't jump at all. Dude, what? This is unreal. What is going on today? Look at this fish. That might be like a, in the 30s, low 30s. Oh yeah, this fish is definitely bigger than 28. Look at that fish. I'm going 30 on this dude. Right there, 31. So I just released that 29 and just got this 31. I've already at least, no, I've already broken my PB slam with two fish and I haven't even caught a trout yet. Pipe that greenback right next to the mangroves. He didn't jump at all. I didn't know what I had on. That is so sick. Let's get a release on her. There you go. Look at the head on the thing. Such a beautiful fish. Just sucking on my thumb. Whenever you're ready. There she goes. This is already like one of the best days of fishing I've had this year and one of the best days of fishing I've had in a while. I honestly think the key right now is live chumming. Get them fired up. Oh. Okay, there's a snook fired up on a bait over there. Oh, you got eaten. Broke me off. That was a solid fish. Cut clean, 30 pound. All right, it's been about, I'd say 30 minutes without a bite. Last bite I had was snook breaking me off. So I think it's about time to switch it up and try and get that trout. All right, so I'm back out here on the flat in the last video that I caught all the speckled trout. See if we can get at least one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on that uh, red eye mullet lure that I found under that dock. Here we go. Let's see if it's as deadly as it was last time. Oh, that's so satisfying. Just being able to bomb a lure like that. I think I got a trout. Yes, I do. Sorry I wasn't recording, I was not getting anything. He's not big, but he completes the slam. There we go. I've been fishing for trout for about an hour and a half, and this is besides like one bite that came off. This is the first fish I've got. Let's get a measurement on him. He is 13 inches, 13 inch trout. Oh, thank you for completing the slam, dude. See you, dude. So I think that's gonna do it for today. Ended up being a very good day. Got my biggest slam ever at 75.5 inches with my new PB redfish at 31 and a half inches, 31 inch snook, and I mean, it was a little 13 inch trout, but completes the slam for me and it was literally the only trout I caught all day. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. 
If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time.